and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, you agree, Bob. Sam? That's right. Uh, we're gonna, today we're going to talk about shoulder pain. Uh, do you have mouse shoulder? And this could be causing you pain. Mm. And we're going to tell you how to tell and what to do about it in case you do. But if you're new to our channel, okay. please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. We're always giving something away. We're giving away a dandy this week. We'll show you in a minute. Uh, it'll also be pinned at the top of the page on that's, Facebook. That's right. Go to Twitter or Instagram or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. Excellent what job. What are we giving away, Brad? Bob, today we are giving away the famous Thermatex Far Infrared Heat. Seriously, this is a, one of those hot packs that goes 2.36 inches. Oh, yeah. We got it on, the, on, yeah. on here. Yeah, and a, a typical hot pack. Uh, 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 typical heating system will only penetrate this surface deep. Skin deep. This will go down into the muscle, into the joint. Uh, they, they are expensive. Yeah, uh, they're pricey. That, that's why we're going to give one away, and uh, you can enjoy if it. If you order one, use our discount code because you get uh, quite a bit off. I don't remember what it is. but 30% or? Yeah, something like that. I don't know. When you get to this age, you, you can't remember you'll too find much. Out. Anyways, uh, shoulder pain. How much? $30. 30. I knew see. 30 was in there somewhere. All right. All right, so what is mouse shoulder, Brad? We're yeah, this, talk about did you this. make this up? No, I didn't make this up. I found an article about it. So okay. I don't know if this guy made it up, but <laughs> he's basically talking about when you use a mouse a lot. And it could be oh, anything. Oh, is that where it came from? Yeah, a yeah, computer yeah. Computer mouse. I heard a little mouse on the ground. Yeah. Well, it could be from anything. If you have to stretch one arm, like yeah. if you, let's say you drive. And, and you always have one arm up of, up like this. Yeah, at the 12 o'clock position. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to be stretching out the muscles oh, between yeah. the spine and the shoulder blade. And what happens if you do that for hours, you know, or days and months? Yeah, and years, it becomes a habit that yeah, you've been doing for years. You're going to stretch out the rhomboids and the other muscles that hold the scapula, this this uh, shoulder blade in place, and that's going to mess up your shoulder. So that shifts the whole scapula over this way. Yeah. Not permanently, but at a... A postural well, some, basis. Yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, some we've got a real really. live person here that has yeah. issues. Yeah. Issues. <laughs> As someone said, they were, well, screwed, basically. Yeah. Wow. Well, so, it's a family uh, show. what happens is when you have a shoulder blade that moves out further or even tips down like this, mm -hmm. the shoulder does not work right in it. See, the shoulder actually, this is a socket. He's talking about the shoulder joint yeah, that, that the allows joint doesn't this. work right. Mm -hmm. The socket. This forms the socket, and this is the ball, so that ball doesn't rotate right in there, and then you can get impingement. All right. So and you get a rotator cuff problem yeah. as a result of a poor shoulder, a mouse shoulder blade. Very common. Yeah. I mean, uh, impingement is probably, what would you say? 70%. 70% according problems. to Dr. Kirsch. So you're going to be surprised that uh, your shoulder blade may not be in the right place. Yeah. So we're going to show you how to measure this. Yes. Now, this is something you might need a little help. You will need some help, right. but you're, you're going to need a little bit of skill level too, right? right? So we're going to show you on the spine. We're going to find the edge of the shoulder blade or the scapula, and you can feel this fairly well on someone. Uh, and then the, the bumps down the middle of the spine is the middle of the spine. You measure from there to there, and uh, according to Dr. Sarman, is Sarman, she, a, she yeah. a doctor? I believe so. Well, she, she's she, read a whole book. Yeah, she is. Yeah. She is knows what she's yeah. talking she's about. She's saying typically it should be very close to three inches on both sides, which with Sam, it and it is. doesn't matter if you're five feet tall or seven feet tall. It's right. still supposed to be three inches away. Right. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, I still don't know if I believe that, but I, I don't I'm know. sure she's, it's got to be close. She doesn't say things lightly, I'm sure. Well, she probably had to have a seven foot tall person. So though. if yours is three and a half or four inches, and especially if you right side or your dominant side sure. is farther out right you need to do these exercises we're going to show you about we're going to first show we measured brad and he was boring he was three inches on both sides i was perfect yeah <laughs> your mom <laughs> now, now turn around bob I your mom was the this. only one that thought that yeah i know it <laughs> so anyways i got this tape here's his middle of the spine spinous processes now here is his left edge of the shoulder blade and here's his right 
And now look at the difference. So, but Bob has had a history. Yeah. His left shoulder had a nerve problem. The, what do you call yeah. it? Yeah, serratus anterior. His nerve. Long thoracic nerve. Actually, it was gone or it was not functioning. It stopped working and the muscle went away. Yeah. It, it, it went down to nothing. They didn't, uh, you know, test on me. Well, who cares, Bob? In. Anyways, he's got a problem. Yeah. And we know that this... Uh, and so it makes sense. So there's a, di a different uh, discrepancy yeah, so here. Yeah, so I think it's bound down my shoulder. Sure. It d probably doesn't, you know, work quite. Right. What they told me, the neurologist told me, is that eventually other muscles would jump in and help. Right. And that's what happened. Cause sure. Because I, I used to lift my arm and my shoulder blade would just wing way out. Yeah. And, like, I couldn't even play basketball. Sure. Uh, but but eventually, uh, yeah, all the muscles took over and helped out. Well, the body will compensate uh, a lot of uh, things. So what are we going to do about so this? So if you find out, again, this can lead to impingement, which can lead to tendonitis, which leads to bursitis, can also lead to the uh, muscles being stretched out, and also can lead to a rotator cuff tear. That's a lot of leading. So we're going to show you just two simple exercises to do. Um, I need a pillow bread. And Ooh, in addition map. to that, we're going to show you one that you can do throughout the day. All right. So the first one, very simple to do, these are. So you're going to lay on a, lie on a pillow. I'm sorry. And you're gonna, you put your hands on your neck like this, kind of interlace the fingers, mm -hmm. and you're just going to squeeze up your shoulder blades together. It might help up. to put a rolled towel under your forehead. Yeah. I like doing it this way, Brett, because I'm getting a little strengthening of the sure. upper, okay. the lower neck, too. So I can literally see, you can't see it from there, but from this angle, you can see the scapulas coming together, and you can see the tape actually getting closer together. Yeah, I'd hold for at least a count of five when you come up. Yep. One, ten, two, three, four, five. Ten repetitions. Ten repetitions. You can do more. I mean, you can. Yep. This is, you know, these are postural muscles, which means they're working all the time. So yeah. they need endurance. Yep. Yep. I so, mean, the first time it might be hard. You may find after five it's uh, uncomfortable. Right. So right. But it's a great one to start. Really hit, um, get, you know, hits on. I would do three sets of ten to okay. start off with. Yeah. Then throughout the day, what are you going to do is W's. W's. You can't, W's. You can't go wrong with the W because it's great for your posture. It's great for the shoulders. And yeah. When you, now you can see with the clothing there how it squeezes well, let's, together. Let's see yours, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you, we've got you all marked yeah. up. There, you see how the, the shirt wrinkles. It stretches and things. And actually, this one's sliding. It, this is actually, I can feel his shoulder blades going in farther than the tape is. If we could glue your shirt to the skin, then so it would be. So what's, what's happening when I do there this? There you go. Are they both going in about the same? Yeah, actually, because I'm holding them right on there. The, the the left one's going in a little more. It's a little closer. You can see. Sure. But they're both moving. Uh, your body is adapted to this. Uh, yeah. and you've been doing a lot of other things as a therapist, right, too. Right, right. <laughs> I've I had it for years. I've, I've, you know, I've had a shoulder problem at one time. I think it was on this side. But nothing now. It's, yeah. My shoulders have been great. Yeah. So. so if you do have mouse shoulder, it's yeah. not the end of the world. You can work through you it. Kill the mouse first, yep. and then you. <laughs> and these exercises are great for posture, which is great yeah. for everything else, breathing, your appearance. You know, so it's a win-win situation. The other thing you want to mention, Brad, oh. um, the thing you should do is also change the position of your mouse. You, the mouse. Mouse, not yeah, mouse. mouth. You, so when you're at the computer, you're going to want to make sure your upper arm is vertical, your lower arm is horizontal, and don't be out like this. Right. Make sure that you know you have a situation where you can raise your your screen up but you can keep the mouse and the keyboard down here right right and the same as in your car when you're in a, driving in a car mm -hmm. don't be driving with your arms up like this keep them right. at the three and six or what is it uh i think, think you know, i have to go through the numbers <laughs> there's the 10 no two, not three and six it'd be 10 and two eight and eight. four okay eight and four yeah. Well, you eat the clock thing or whatever but yeah i know my father always I could drove cheat like on this. this one you look at the clock <laughs> We're so, digressing, which, which Bob. Which way did your father die? Well, he always drove at 12 o'clock. Oh, yeah. And then he had to lift his... I remember as a kid, he would have to lift his wrist up to see the speedometer. I always wondered why he's doing that. And I start driving. It's like, well, you can't see how fast you're going until you do that. Well, the other thing, they used to have those knobs. Remember that? That's on a tractor, Bob. Well, they, I saw them on a, a, a vehicle. Uh, that's a Minnesota thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. no, I know All what right. you mean. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We won't stop. We'll stop talking now. <laughs>